Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid Hardcore Survival. We are picking up here another several days since our last episode where we were down at that nameless town between Riverside and Muldra. Hooking up another generator to another gas station which makes three gas stations that we can now visit whenever we need to. So uh, it does open up a lot more possibilities for us. In between episodes, I've been busy collecting materials for our house. As you can see here, we've got some cinnamon floor tiles and a dark purple rug. I'm thinking of putting the uh, the floor tiles in this area here. We'll have to put down a subfloor first, but uh, that's kind of my plan for now. And uh, we'll keep our eye out for other types of flooring uh, for the rest of the base. But this is kind of where we will start. Uh, I'm just dropping this stuff off now though, because we'll probably uh, put this down uh, in another episode, or in between episodes, but just wanted to bring you guys in and let you know what was going on here. Uh, we do have a couple more windows that we can place together, so we'll just wait for these last ones to finish here. There we go. Unpack our windows. I've picked up, uh, I think it was a total of seven or eight windows in between episodes, so... And if we go upstairs, all the windows on the second floor are now installed. Still need a few more sets of curtains, but uh, things are looking good there. And then upstairs, I've also installed three windows as well. So with these two extras, uh, that'll leave us with just uh, three more to get. Then all our windows will be taken care of. Gonna unbarricade these windows first. And put in... Our new one. Uh, I do have another painting here. We'll take a look at that later. So let's put this first one in. And we'll do the second one. And I think today we're going to try and do some metalworking. Whether that's going around dismantling stuff to start leveling up, or if we're actually able to build something, we'll, we'll be taking a look at that today. I, I think that's the plan. Try that again. There we go. And uh, apparently this painting, we can't rotate. So it has to go on this wall. I'm just gonna put it here for now. Perfect. Okay, so health is a little bit low because we were carrying a heavy load for a while there. So let's go down and grab some food from this fridge, uh, which I also uh, grabbed in between episodes. Got another uh, secondary large fridge up on the second floor. And I do have some stir fries ready to go inside there. So uh, let's go ahead and eat half of this one. It is 115 hunger total. So this will be a very hearty meal. But we're still struggling with our, our weight. We're actually, uh, we've dipped quite a bit below 65 kilograms here. So we really do need to uh, try and stuff our face as much as possible. Get this stuff, get this weight situation back in check. It's been an ongoing issue this season, ever since leaving the city. All right, what else is new? Did I pick up? I think I grabbed another plant here for the eating area. Uh, we had the microwave last time. Grab this lamp on the floor. We'll find somewhere for that. Uh, I don't think there's too much else. Oh, yeah, you probably already noticed, but I moved all our storage up here So all our metalworking stuff is in these crates we got our ammunition and guns in this cabinet We have all our electronics over in this corner This one's empty We got weapons. So we got blade weapons here We got uh, broken weapons in the middle and then blunt weapons on top and then another empty cabinet here. I'm gonna get one more of these cabinets. I think actually we could probably fit three across here. So we'll probably have three more cabinets across there. And then uh, I'll probably do another staircase here. So we can eventually put a roof on to the third floor. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what things are looking at uh, like right now. Uh, the farm, nothing ready to harvest yet. I think the next one to harvest will be these strawberries because they are in bloom. We'll just have to wait till they go to uh, the harvest stage. 
and we got some young potatoes too that will be the next in line but everything else has been recently planted so um, I could take a quick look at our fridge to show you what's in our tiny one here we got six frozen rabbits plus a uh, fresh uncooked frozen uh, rabbit meat and then we got a bunch of uh, vegetables inside here including some rotten bacon bits which uh, I made out of rotten bacon and for some reason they uh, they were actually not rotten when I made them so I, I did put them in there thinking that they might last a while but they have gone back to rotten again so we'll just dump this stuff into our composter and the composter doesn't seem to compost berries that doesn't seem to work so those are still in there but we do have a lot of compost we got 36 percent full there so we could start using some compost soon in between episodes i also expanded our little radish and carrot garden down here which could probably do with some watering maybe tomorrow i think they're okay for right now um, disease could spread pretty easily here, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to fill that space up. Okay, uh, let's see here. Last thing I did in between episodes was uh, put some doors on here. So this is now enclosed properly. And we've got uh, all our gas cans uh, down over here in, uh, there's three crates, two here and then one down here behind the wall. All right, so that's everything that we've done in between episodes. You guys are all up to speed. Let's grab our welding gear here. We'll grab a full propane torch. We'll grab our mask and some welding rods. And now metalworking. So most of the stuff takes metalworking at least two to do um, metal shelves. Fence is metal working three. Doors, at least four. So yeah, we do need to uh, go dismantling some stuff for a bit in order to, uh, actually we're gonna have to dismantle a lot of stuff before we can start doing some proper metal working stuff. So let's, actually I don't think I'll need my welding rods then for this. Let's drop our welding rod off. It's 4 p.m. We could probably go drive out. Um, I'll take another stir fry with us. And might as well fill up our water before we head out here. But we'll drive out, I think, to, to the farms where we had been looting homes prior. And uh, actually I should check the generator too. We'll see if we can find some stuff to dismantle, some metal stuff. Uh, that'll be fine for another few days. Okay, so let's get to the car. I think I've got everything that I will need. Uh, we got our food, we got our welding stuff. I have a crowbar if we do need that. We can actually just leave that in the ambulance. Don't need to be carrying that with us, probably. So put that there. Oh, and I also um, extended... This is the other thing I did, was extend our driveway. So it's not quite up to our base yet, but it does go all the way back to the road. Which is good. It'll help save our car a bit. Um, I should try and move this car at some point, because I do have to drive a little bit on the grass here every, every time we go back and forth which I assume will do some damage somewhere in terror in our shocks so I'll drive down to these farms and uh, we'll cut back there and hopefully we can find some metal items to start dismantling okay so here's the first farm we'll take care of those zombies in a second I think there should be some stuff here Let's get our knife out and uh, kill all these zombies. Try and keep them off the road. Again, mostly just so we don't 
I have to bounce over them. Even oh, jeez, that was close. Even though you guys are telling me that we won't actually harm our car driving over corpses. Okay, so let's see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a metal shelf here. Um, do we need to dismantle this, or should we take it home? Uh, we need to read the next book of electricals, so we'll just uh, take that home. And if I go, oh, I can't dismantle this. Okay, I thought I could. Let's go to the uh, toilet. Metalworking. There we go. Okay, let's dismantle this. So we'll do, um, I guess, bathroom items. And I don't remember what we got for XP. We'll have to check here again. I remember we figured it out last season. Uh, failed to produce anything of use. So we got 3.75 for the toilet. Let's dismantle this. Probably not going to get anything of use for the next, uh, or for the first little bit. Uh, so another 3.75 for the sink. Try the shower. Alright. Another 3.75. Okay, so pretty well rounded there. Do this sink. Yeah, I think everything is about the same. Uh, I can't dismantle that. I don't think there's going to be anything else metal in here. Check the uh, shed. Oh yeah, there's this generator too. No, I can't dismantle either of those, but uh, this would be good to take back. We are saying we want to get a couple more of these anyway. So let's pick this up. Perfect. Uh, and I kind of want this too. So let's go take this one out first to the car. And um, we might be able to get to level one today for metalworking. I'm gonna bring the car a little bit closer too. Oh, I did dismantle a, uh, a a double bed here too, a large modern bed, which I will eventually bring back to the cabin. Each piece weighs 20 though, so it's quite a bit. Let's put that in there. Let's eat uh, some more food. Just a quarter of that. Okay, cool. Pull this up to the uh, shed a little closer. If we can get it started. All right, let's grab this as well. Let's have a uh, a good container for our ammunition. So we no, can't dismantle anything there. We might find some uh, some metal doors. That's possible. Right, let's dump this wall locker in, and we'll head on down to the next farm. Let's see what this place has to offer. Uh, probably nothing. That's just a small house. Okay, let's see what else there is. This one's got another shed, and it looks like it's got a metal door on it, too, so... Let's park here. Yeah, I think these are metal. Uh, or is that wood? That must be wood. How about these barrels? No. Nope. Uh, these shelves... Could do. Or are these something that we want to bring back with us? 
takes a screwdriver. These might be nice to take back with us. Uh, let's pull out our screwdriver here. We'll just dismantle this. And I think we'll uh, just drive the car somewhere a bit secluded and sleep in the car tonight. Okay, how much do these weigh? 20 each. Okay, those will still fit in the back. Let's get out bag. Toss one of those in. Pick up this one. And we'll take this to the car. Yeah, I thought, uh, thought that would have been a metal door. It's apparently wood. Okay, so let's put these large shelves in. And this will actually fill up the car pretty good. We still have one more seat back here. That'll be empty. There. Uh, we might be able to just sleep here. I don't know if anyone's going to bother us. Yeah, let's just sleep here. And I'm going to eat the rest of this one. Maybe this one here. Hopefully try and gain some weight while we sleep. We are down, or actually no, we're up to 64, right? We were down to 63 something before. So let's see if we gain any weight here. Uh, we'll just sleep here. And we are gaining a little bit of weight. Perfect. Just have to eat a lot of stir fries. All right, so yeah, quarter kilogram. Not bad. Let's have our breakfast. Keep stuff in our face. And we will move on here. Uh, I guess we could have done the bathroom stuff in that last place too. Uh, but this is one of the beds I picked up. This. We'll just close that and we will dismantle this stuff. Good. Might as well fill up our water bottle. Dismantle that. And this. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it for there. Do the sink. I don't think we've gotten anything useful from this stuff yet. Uh, let's see where we're at. 30, so almost halfway. Yeah, we could definitely do it today. Definitely. Um, don't think there's going to be anything there. I think we just have to move on to the next place. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we have been here. Okay. I was going to say, it's somewhere up here where we stopped and turned around. But we have been here. Alright, so let's continue on here. Try and go as fast as we can. Dismantle this. Oh, and we actually got something there. A metal tube. Uh, let's dismantle this stuff and then we'll see if we can't pick that up. There we go. And we got two things we can dismantle here with this bathtub since it takes up two time. Oh, nope. Not sure if we would have gotten double for that. I would hope so. We're up to 56, so very close. Let's grab this metal tube. I'll take that to the car. And yeah, nothing else here. Just toss this in the back. And let's see if we can get to one more place before we run into those zombies again. Oh, well, there's the first zombies. Looks like we ran over that mailbox before too. So we'll 
pull out our knife. Quickly take care of these. There's just three of them. Good. And time to destroy more water sources. Oh, there's a zombie somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, there's a few. Um, yeah, I don't really want to take all these guys out. Let's get out of here. It's going to take some time. Going forwards, probably only going to run into more zombies. Yeah, this is about where we turned around, wasn't it? Okay. Well, let's head back. There were a couple houses that we didn't dismantle stuff at, so let's go back to those bathrooms. So I believe this was one of them. Yep. Alright, now I want to see how much we get from this bathtub. So let's open this up. We're at 56.25. Dismantle that. 56.25. Oh yeah. Quite a bit more. That's at um, 15. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Bathtubs are where it's at. Yes, yeah, so we'll definitely get our level 1 here. There we go. Level 1. And we're going to take a look at our car. Let's see if there's any repairs we can do that take only level 1. It's probably level 2 at a minimum. But let's uh, dismantle this sink. And we'll take a quick look here. Okay. So if you look at our trunk. Repair mechanics two, metalworking three. Jeez. Okay. Uh, well, obviously we can't repair that stuff. Door. I guess we have to probably uninstall some of this stuff to see if we can repair it. Mechanics five. Where would we be looking for stuff? Hmm. Well, the trunk, but that's level three. Uh, how about the gas can? Hold on. The gas tank. Is that uh, an option? I guess we'd have to uninstall it. Um, let's find another car on the road. And we'll just uh, take some parts off of it and see if there's any options to repair it with metalworking. Or if it's all just mechanics. Oh, there's this one house too, the small one. This is the last one we didn't check. So we will do this one quickly and then find a spare car on the road. Let's make sure there's no zombies in here. Alright, so dismantle that. Wish I could dismantle the stoves. And we'll dismantle this. And fill up our water. Dismantle. We're a little bit hungry. Let's have some more stir fry. We just have the rest of this one? Yeah. Let's have the rest of that. And dismantle this. So we will start just carrying around our welding gear with us. So I don't think this actually uses up propane. No. So it'd be good just to keep this in the backpack because they don't actually weigh that much. The helmet's probably like one or well we're wearing it so it's hardly anything. But uh, point being it's not very much and we can just keep our eyes out for stuff to dismantle every once in a while. I think there was a van up in this parking lot, wasn't there? Yeah, okay, so let's test on this one. Uh, we will grab our tools, though. I don't 
don't know if I need the jack to do the suspension and stuff, but we'll pull all those out and take a peek. Oh, as there's a uh, zombie somewhere. So we should take care of them. And I think I saw one more. Yep. Going back outside. Okay. Let's check this out. And let's see here. So let's take the muffler off. Let's start with that. Oh, and that crawler is coming towards us still. It's a very eager crawler. Coming up the entire length of the driveway. not have any success getting that off. Wish there was a way to just uh, quickly reopen this window. Let's try again. And again. This is a performance muffler. Probably would, would have been a good part to, uh, to have. Failure. Failure. It's going to completely break it here. What's the uh, required skill? Five. Oh, that would make sense then. Okay, we got it. Let's see. There is no option to repair it. Okay. Let's put that down. And let's see. No, it's gonna make me do it every time. All right, let's try the uh, gas tank here. There we go. Okay. Um, capacity 32. There is a thing to repair. Metalworking three. Okay, so we can repair a trunk, we can repair a gas tank. Uh, that's good to know. I wonder if this is any... This is a small... Okay. I don't think we have a small one on ours. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. What do you think we could repair? I wonder if we can repair seats. Let's see. We can. Okay, duct tape or glue. Good to know. Mechanics of one. Okay. Can we repair? We can't take that. Oh, we can take out the radio. Now I'm just curious what all we can repair. Oh, it's just one of these. Interesting. I thought it would be like a car radio. Okay. Uh, can we put that back in then? Yeah. Or you can put in a premium radio. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, what else? Tires won't build a repair. Oh. And I lost the window. Okay, we got suspension. Uh, let's take off this uh, tire. We'll try these suspension and brakes. I don't think we'll be able to repair this stuff. Oh, we actually got it off. No. And uh, this is actually in pretty good condition, so that's performance too. So we will actually keep that. Let me put that back on once our mechanic skill is a little bit higher. 
And we read our mechanic book, right? We're almost at level three here. Okay, cool. Let's uh, keep dismantling from this car then. So we'll take all these tires off. This last one. There's our mechanic skill leveled up. Let's throw a skill point in there. And let's drop these tires. And we might as well try and take these other decent suspensions. Level 6 to uh, get it off successfully, though. That's quite high. Alright, I'll keep trying to do this. Uh, see if we can get some half decent suspensions. Oh, there we go. Alright, that one's not going to come off. It's under 60, so I don't think I want that. This one's 69, though. We'll hold on to that one. Okay, let's check the brakes. Eighty-three percent. Let's see what we can do here. It's probably six as well. Yeah. No, oh, we actually got that one. Cannot repair those. Okay, we will keep this. It's at seventy-eight. And two more half decent ones, sixty-five and seventy-three. All right. Take one last look, see if there's anything else we could potentially repair. I don't expect there to be. I'll just put this one on the back seat here. Uh, possibly the door, though. That might be a, an option. Uh, so we need to take the window out first. So front left window, uh, front left window, let's uninstall that. And the front left door. That only takes mechanics of four, so we should be able to get this one off without damaging it too much. There we go. And... Yeah, we can repair this with uh, level 3 metalworking. So that seems to be the base. Metal 3. We can use um, metal 2 to make shelves, but everything else is about 3 and higher, even for repairing car items. So we'll just um, drop that. I think one of my windows does need to be replaced, though. So Yeah, a couple of them do, actually. And the door, too. So let's uh, take this out, take this off, oops, no, uh, the door I mean, I think I've hit a few trees or something. Alright, so we'll drop that, we will drop this crappier window, pick up this door. And install this stuff. Okay, so let's install the door first. Oh, did not work. There we go. And the window. Perfect. Okay. Fix up our car a little bit too in the process. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so I think we've figured out everything that we can repair. We're going to need to do uh, quite a bit more dismantling though to get ourselves up to level 3. So we got 150 to go here. And then uh, it'll be another couple hundred to get to level 3 there. So we'll continue doing that uh, when possible. Uh, for now, though, let's uh, take this stuff back 
to the house. And I think we'll end the episode off by maybe going back up to that town. See if we can knock off a couple more buildings. So it is the next day here. We're just pulling up to the town. I expect there's going to be a fair number of zombies, but uh, we'll do a quick drive through maybe first, and uh, maybe we could do the alarm thing one more time and draw people out. Let's actually do that. So let's pull this out, and I'm going to throw this on. I'm going to do a quick loop. And uh, we'll be back, and hopefully this place has been cleared out uh, again so we can hit up some more businesses. Alright, this time I opted to go the opposite way around to approach the town from the south. Uh, we'll see if this is going to work though. I don't know if the siren would have drawn people from all the way on this end of town. I do see some zombies still around here. But, uh, let's see, we're at the outskirts now. And it does look like there's still a fair amount of zombies in town here. Let's just drive down Main Street. Oh, yeah. Quite a few there. Okay, so that may not have pulled people from as far as I thought it would. There's the farming rural supply. Is that the tool shop we were in? No, that's the tool shop there. All right, let's just pull the car up here. So this is where we ended off before. It does look like they're gonna follow me up here. So we could probably get into this general store. Check this out. Let's get our knife out. Hopefully there's no alarm. I think we're okay. And let's get some food. Let's uh, get some more supplies for winter, which is uh, fast approaching. Lots of dried goods in here, which is fantastic. Got a, a zombie down there. Take care of him. And continue on. Uh, radio. I think I'm just gonna focus on getting the food. Some more flour. Take all that Thank goodness. Some stuff for some tea. There we go, a kitchen knife. Is there an end cap here? Just a mug. Yeah, lots of good stuff in here. I already have a rolling pin. More canned potatoes, another radio. Uh, more sugar. All right, we'll just hammer through this stuff. Not sure if it's because there's just so many zombies in the town. Are these? No, uh, those are kind of bulky. I was wondering if we could take those home. I don't know if we really want to though. Uh, see you, player. We can dismantle that later. It's lighter than carrying the radios. I think I'd rather take the food over the radios. Clothing. I don't know if there's anything that we really catches our eye. Uh, we could dismantle this stuff. I suppose. Uh, we are a bit hungry. Oh, we got a nice big storage room here with more food. Let's go ahead and open one of these. Uh, I'm gonna take another baking pan for cakes and pies and stuff down the road. Let's eat that. Can't get back there. Another kitchen knife. Let's put that in the bag. Oh, uh, this bag is full. Okay, we'll just toss as much stuff as we can before zombies start pounding away. 
cigarettes, lots of radios. So we could come back here to do some dismantling, I suppose. I think this just goes outside. Yeah, and I hear zombies out there. And there they are. All right, so let's dump this bag off into the car. We have another big hiking bag here, so we'll just drop that in there. Equip that secondary. Check for this zombie who's coming. Dump off these other loose ends. And we'll try and get into one more place. Uh, we're actually... Our water bottle's empty. We should have filled that up inside. So we could try going down to this place. It did look like there was quite a few zombies around it, though. On that one side, at the very least. Delivery van back there. Yeah, now we're thirsty. It's like a food store. This is the farming store, right, it said? So I guess we would find seeds and probably burlap sacks, that kind of stuff in here. Is that a zombie? Yeah. Uh, a box of jars. Ooh. Nice. Shotgun, yeah. Newspaper, take that. Sunflower seeds. Box of jars. That's that's a good find. Especially with winter coming. Ah, uh, we could take some rotten stuff for the compost bin. Concrete. Might need that. Some pickles. Yeah, we might want to come back here for all this rotten stuff so we can just compost it. We'll take the pickles. Or if our cooking seal got high enough, we could actually use the stuff, I guess, in ingredients. Uh, oh, you guys wanted us to pick up the flag. So let's grab this flag. You guys had mentioned that in a previous episode. Alright, so that's it for this side. And uh, that's quite a few there. Can we get in here though? Cupcake. They're back there, okay. Let's get a few more cupcakes as they are good for gaining weight. Junk food. Rotten nails. More concrete. You'll have to let me know below. I know we can use concrete in Hydrocraft, but I'm not sure about the base game if it's used for anything. Uh, looks like there's three there. Let's see if I can just do this without attracting them. Lots of metal stuff here we could dismantle, though. Candy. I assume we could dismantle... No, that's wood. We could dismantle all that metal cabinetry. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's pick up this doorknob. And what's this last one? Let's see. We might be pushing our luck here. That group did move away though, so. And it is open. And there's a American flag there. Uh, looks like a butcher. Yeah, it's all rotten. Meat. We take a look back here. Some more seeds. More metal stuff to dismantle if we choose to. Is there a kitchen back here too? Yep. Uh, rotten. Cheese box. Rotten. Uh, more bacon. We'll do that for the bacon rashers. 
Baking bits. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so that's two more buildings down. Uh, let's grab this flag for you guys. Even though I'm not American, I don't think they have a Canadian flag in here. Being Kentucky and all. Alright, so there. Oh no, that's the farming and rural supply down there. That might have to be for another time though. This bag is almost full. I'm happy to have done what we've got so far here. Uh, let's just run past these. We can get to our car easy enough. And get out of here. Might be able to stop at the gas station and fill up. Uh, there's a couple around here. Hmm. Let's uh. Let's do it. Might as well. I don't have any empties with me, but let's um. Grab a can here. We'll fill up and then we'll just refill this. Right, so I add gasoline. Maybe I can do two? Let's grab this one. Can I put two in? No, you don't need two. Just one. Put that back. I hear zombies coming. So I think if I turn this on, they're going to hear me. I'll try and do it quickly, though. I mean, since we're here, we might as well fill up. No, oh, and they didn't hear us. All right, so let's toss that back in. And our car is full once again. Close that. And off we go. Should I stop and fill up water? No, I got to Another water bottle in the backpack here. Alright guys, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, we will be back here eventually, maybe in a few more episodes or a couple episodes to knock off some more buildings. But uh, I think our next focus will be uh, leveling up metalworking uh, to at least level 3 so we can start repairing some car items. And continue getting our mechanic skill up. So thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed. As always, leave those comments down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit that like button. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.